Hey, it's Ryan from SoakSerenitySupplies.com. Congratulations on your new Riley Hopkins press. Before you get printing with it, we want to ensure that you know how to set it up and use it and adjust it properly. So we brought the expert in here, Riley Hopkins himself, to show me how to set this up. I'm going to be assisting him throughout the process, so I'll just hand it over to him and we'll get started. Great. Well, thanks again for uh, purchasing this press. Uh, this thing should um, last at least 30 years and not uh, have any problems if you treat it right, so that's why we want to start this thing off on the right foot. Um, on your uh, bags, when you um, parts bags, there'll be some instructions that uh, basically tell you what to do. In this case, we're going to be setting up the base first, and then we'll put this uh, upper section on it, and then lastly, we'll put the uh, print stations on it. So this information is contained on the outside of your bag, so refer to it on a regular basis. There's also a set of instructions here, too, on how to operate this press, and quite often this winds up sitting in the bottom of the boss's drawer and uh, not near the press. Uh, so please read this and familiarize yourself with it. The adjustments are very simple, but if you don't follow the instructions, uh, you're in harm's way. So all right, the first thing we're going to do here is um, find the um, spare leg leveler. We're going to flip this guy upside down. We're going to put this uh, center leg leveler right in the middle of this guy. The reason we've done this uh, is to make sure there's no bounce in this uh, press base. And when you uh, turn this upside down, you'll notice that there's also a brace uh, welded into the bottom of this uh, tube, so there's no flex in the bottom of this thing either. So we're ready to go. We're going to start this all the way down in the bottom. Okay, so uh, you might want to set this up on top of something so you're not uh, groveling in the cement. These uh, bolts are just finger tight. And we're using the short bolt on that and bottom that, adjustment? Leg. And that also comes up from the bottom. It's the only one that does. Now also, um, one other thing that's um, a bit of trivia, but it's uh, nice to know. There's two sides to a washer. There's the punch side and there's the sharp side. So I always like to try and get the smooth side next to the powder. When you look at it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Now once these are all in, um, we're going to want to tighten these guys up. You can see how nicely these ratchet wrenches work. They're really cool. So then we'll go through the rest of this. Now, do you tighten all these at once, all the way down tight, or do we wait till everything's set down? Well, basically, um, I don't have a problem uh, setting these things up tight one at a time. It's just that when you're first working uh, these three bolts together, there's a little bit of clearance in there. So you want to set the bolts in loose before you tighten them up. OK, let's put the rest down. Great. Okay, so now we've got this, um, all the legs down. We want to uh, make sure there's no rock in the bottom of this, so there are four adjustable leg levelers. Uh, try and work the two sides op opposite each other first, and then hit the second one. This is now in reasonable shape. You should be able to push on it and not tilt back and forth? Correct. Why don't we lift this up? This is definitely a two-person job. Yep. This is the registration detent. Um, yeah, basically, it lines up with the feet. So what we're going to do is pull this over just a little bit. Whoops. Should be about there. Let's check this backside just a little bit. Then let's try um, putting the four center bolts in first. I think we've got to line her up a little. 
kind of look down through here and see the holes underneath. These uh, center bolts are um, uh, very important but they're a little difficult to get in, so th that's the reason you want to start those off first. We're going to be using a half inch wrench, and um, that'll allow us to sneak in here and get these done. You might want to put your finger on the top of the bolt to um, give it a little bit of resistance so it doesn't spin back and forth on you. These bolts are basically there to make sure that there's a maximum amount of strength in this plate. Even though it's a half an inch thick, um, you're still putting an awful lot of uh, pressure by the time you're printing out on the end of a shirt board. So this hooks up with a, this half inch hooks up with a quarter inch top of the uh, base top. So it gives you uh, three quarters of an inch, which is uh, pretty Herculean. We're going to uh, throw in this last of the four outer bolts on the base to secure this and get those tightened up. And then we're ready to um, pull the print heads down. These are uh, shipped in the up position so it takes up the absolute least amount of space. So uh, when you put the arm down, you want to kind of make sure that there's no chance for it to come back up. So you put this uh, blue bumper material uh, on the uh, bolt that goes through this thing. Put a washer on it. The top nut just goes on finger tight. You don't want to use a wrench on this at all because you don't want to preload this uh, bracket for any reason at all. Uh, the bracket's already set up to handle an axle below here, which has um, some oilite bushings, and those have been preset so that um, the torque is the same on all of these, so that the arm will go up and down properly. So this will actually come up into that position. That's the way the uh, print heads work. Okay, so next, now that we've got these arms in place, we're going to start putting the print stations on. Uh, you'll notice that the print heads are all numbered, as are the print stations themselves. So we're going to want to go with number one on the number one print station. And an easy way to do this is to just tap the, uh, the dowel pins through just a little bit. At the factory, we uh, set these presses up and adjust them so they're correct when you, uh, when you get them. You'll notice that there are two randomly drilled dowel holes as well as some scribe marks as well. So what we're going to do is um, use a couple of vice grips which we've uh, put some electrical tape on and uh, we'll clip these in place. So what we're going to want to do is just start where these um, dowel pins are and let that be the starting point. Okay, this electrical tape is on there so that we're not screwing up the powder coating. And this next bag has all of our print station bolts. Now, which side of the bolt goes through on the front? I like to have the bolt heads um, sticking out so that the nuts are on the back. Okay. And the two washers, of course, um, one on either side with smooth side facing the, uh, the powder. And we're using 9 16th wrench for this? That's correct. Sixteenths, if you need them. 
having um, built over 20,000 of these uh, presses worldwide, um, I've often wondered why I haven't gone into the 916 ranch business <laughs> because there's at least one set that goes with each uh, press. Now for people that are overseas, you can get by with a 14 millimeter uh, set of wrenches for this as well. 